when that time once again thank you so much for joining our little sliver of the internet mark the movie man here it is the final cut and today we are going to take a look at an independent horror film called dark ritual which is brought to us by chris warren now here we get the story of jennifer uh, mccray who his brother has gone missing and so she goes to his house to look for clues to see if she could tell maybe what happened to him well once inside she soon discovers that yeah this house isn't all what it seems and it's got a dark secret she's got her own dark past and both of these two things collide and come to the surface as she continues to look for clues and try to find her brother. And we see how she starts to lose the grip on, in, on her sanity as things progress and she digs deeper into what may have happened to her brother. Uh, yeah, this is a wild film that's a great exploration into mental health. It shows the effects that mental uh, a traumatic event has on someone's sanity. And I thought that was an interesting approach that they take with this, especially with the Jennifer character, who's played wonderfully by Natalie Jones. She carries a lot of the weight of the film on her shoulders. She sells the crazy really good. And uh, yeah, you feel like this person has been through some really trying times, which they have, which we get in flashbacks, which I appreciate it. And, it sh you know, it shows how that affects her, why she's had got the bond with her brother and a lot of other things. They really fleshed out this character well, and you really feel for her because you don't want anything bad to happen to her. The other characters are serviceable for sure. And we do get appearances by veteran actresses Lisa Wilcox and Debbie Rashawn. It was great to see them on screen and they make more most for the couple of scenes that they have, but it's really Natalie Jones's show here. And uh, yeah, we watch as she descends further and further and loses her grip on reality more and more as the house, uh, you know, affects her more and more and, and she deals with all these things. And so uh, that performance, the film really hinges on that because it is done on a micro budget. So you don't have a whole lot of things going on, but let me tell you, there are some uh, Cronenbergian uh, visuals that happen later on in the film that surprised me quite a bit. Now, it does show its budget in some of these special effects, but other than special effects, the makeup effects where they're doing the practical stuff, I thought looked really good. It's when they get into the uh, CGI stuff where it kind of shows its budget a bit, but it didn't take me out of the film because I was very interested on where this story was going. They do a lot of other interesting gimmicks too with the camera work that they have in here. They really make sure that you have that separation too of what's a flashback and what's in reality. They put a little gray and ageness to uh, the flashback footage so I like that and it is a dark story though folks this really is one that it gets heavy with the characters and by the end of it, it yeah it's it's not exactly a happy story but an interesting one as I said using horror to explore uh, traumatic events and the impact it has on one's mental health is the underlying core uh, a theme that I think that they were going for in here and they do get that to come across on screen. So if you don't mind a lower budget production, I think you'll enjoy this. It does take some surprising turns and it's worth it for nothing else for the uh, acting of Natalie Jones, who really uh, does really well in here and, and look forward to seeing other projects of hers. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you listening to me talk about Dark Ritual. If you have seen this film, please leave your comments down below. Check the body of this video. There's a lot of information here as much as I can at least put about this movie. I thank you for your support and as always, remember, keep that ticket stub.